generating humans in a video from text is still a frontier which is being explored by a lot of companies out there. That is why when I stumbled upon this project called as text to performer it looks quite promising. Let me play this video and then you will see what exactly I'm trying to say here. Let me make it a bit bigger. So this is a text prompt and if you look at this text prompt we are describing the human that this female is wearing a dress with solid color pattern. It has no sleeves and it is of three quarter length. She shifts to the right. Look at the video now. And then she will shift to the right. How good is that? So this is what this text to performer is doing. And now let's have a look at another example. So keep looking at the text prompts and then keep looking at the video as how nicely it is moving as the prompt is changing. The thing is that since its emergence, text guided image synthesis has attracted substantial attention. Recent works have demonstrated fascinating performance for the quality of synthesized images and their consistency with the text. Beyond image generation, text driven video generation is an advanced topic to explore. And it is really worthwhile to explore text to video generation because this is one area where I think a lot of work needs to be done still. And that is why in this paper, these researchers have focused on the task of text driven human video generation as you can see on your screen. Compared to general text to video generation, text driven human video generation poses several unique challenges. First, human structure is articulated, which is very, very important. And you can see that is being done here. The joint movements of different body components form many complicated out of the plane motions, that is rotations. When performing complicated motions, the appearance of the synthesized human should remain the same. For example, the appearance of a target human after turning around should be consistent with that at the first beginning. So in summary, to achieve high fidelity human beauty generation, consistent human representation and complicated human motions should be carefully modeled. Let's have a look at another example. So if you look at this example, the dress the person wears has medium sleeves, that is correct. And then she is turning right, she is turning right from the side to the back, back to the side and then side to the front and then she moves to the right. How good is that? Let's watch it again and then you will see that how good this text to performer is. So text to performer is a new text driven human video generation framework and that the aim is to handle consistent human representation and complex human motions and it is doing it quite fine. And you can see that given text describing appearances and motions, text to performer, performer is able to generate tempor temporarily consistent human videos with complete human structures and unified human appearances. Now, let me show you one more example and then we will also have a look at its architecture. Now, look at this one. Similarly, this person has a long sleeve. It is moving to, she is moving to the right, center from the right, front to the side and then side to the back. And without any issues, temporarily, it is text to performer is generating the video amazing stuff and now have a let's have a quick look at this architecture so to model complicated human motions a new continuous vq diffuser is proposed to sample a sequence of meaningful pose representation the architecture of the continuous vq diffuser is transformer and the difference from the previous one is that the continuous VQ diffuser directly predicts the continuous pose embeddings rather than their indexes in the codebook. After predicting continuous pose embeddings, they also make use of the rich embedding stored in the codebook by retrieving the nearest embedding of the predicted embedding from the codebook. So if you start from the figure A, which is at the top, you will see that this is a sampling from that decomposed VQ space. And then in the figure B, there is a motion sampling with continuous VQ diffuser. Given a text, they first sample the target appearance features and then exemplar pose features conditioned on the language feature extracted by a pre-trained text model. 
and then the motion sequence is sampled and then the continuous VQ diffuser takes the extracted language features and then guided by a motion aware masking strategy the continuous VQ diffuser is iteratively applied until the whole motion sequence is unmasked. The final videos are generated by feeding the continuous pose features and appearance features into the decoder of VQ VAE and that is the whole architecture there is to it. And now let's have a quick look at some of the uh, comparison with text to performers MMWIT and style -Gan V. So the text to performer is the last one. Look at this one now. So the person is wearing a medium sleeve dress. It is of medium length. Its pattern is pure color. The women is re relocating to the left. And then look at the appearance consistency, motion consistency and temporal consistency. MMWIT has failed all of them. Style GAN is slightly okay on the first one, but text to performance performer has performed really well on all of them. Great stuff. Let's have a look at another example. Let me play this one. So in this one, the lady wears a dress. It has long sleeves and it is of short length. Its pattern is color block. The lady makes a right turn to the back from the side. Look at that. So MMVID is slightly okay on few of the tasks like consistency and temporal consistency. Whereas style gan V is not good enough as you can see in the video above. Whereas text to performer has performed quite well. There you go. Good one. Let's have a look at another example. Now in this next example, we have the female wears a dress. It has no sleeves and it is of medium length. Its pattern is solid color. The list lady is swinging to the left. Again, text to performer has really thrown it out of the park. MM weight is just slightly okay. Style gan V is just not cutting it. Whereas text to performer has performed really well as you can see. So you see, it's not an easy task, but text to performer is, is doing really well here. Now, one thing to note here is that this text to performer has been trained on videos with relatively clean backgrounds. So, but most of the human videos are biased towards gender, uh, you know, not biased, I would say they are more complicated backgrounds. So it will be very interesting to see if the background is not clean white, what happens then. So, in the future papers, I think they should be also trying that one out. And of course, if you want to run it locally, they have shared the code, but I think you would need some multi GPU setup with a lot of VRAM in order to get it working. And then you have to download the weights from some of the Google drives and stuff. So installation process is not that, uh, you know, finely written. So I would hope that they would improve it. But other than that, I think the project looks really good. Amazing stuff. I will drop the link to it in video description. Let me know what you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.